Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I get to share with you the Free Spirit Bundle Petite which has been sent to me for review by the amazing Victoria. I have been kind of waiting on this. I've had it in my possession for a while, the box unopened and so I'm very excited that I finally get to share this with all of you. In case you are unfamiliar, Free Spirit Bundle is a home decor design sort of community and lifestyle and world and they have a subscription box. They actually have two. So what they have is the original box which is now coined the Free Spirit Bundle Elite and that remains $269.99 with free shipping and there are usually I would say six to seven items in there of beautiful eclectic boho decor kind of has a seasonal feel sometimes but usually it's mostly items that you can just use year round throughout your house and I love that Victoria takes the time to really engage with her subscribers in terms of styling tips. She does a live styling. There's all kinds of events. In addition they also have a build your own bundle feature on the website where you can get additional pieces that really complement items in the boxes as well as some of the items from past boxes that you may have missed and that is kind of where the free spirit bundle petite comes in which is what I have to share with you and that has four items inside it is $139.99 plus $19.99 in shipping so let me do the math for you it's $159.98 per quarter and I just think it's such a great deal because she really gets really nice pieces again very functional very beautiful very eclectic really works in a lot of home decor styles and they have been featuring for the last few seasons there's usually been a couple of items from past elite boxes so if you're kind of late to the scene it's not too late you're kind of getting in on some of the past favorites from elite bundles so that is the case with this one but this is the last time so there are two fan favorites in this particular petite bundle and two that are also in the elite bundle for May but moving forward starting with the August box I think the August box, yes, this is the May box. That means there's gonna be no more overlaps. So you could potentially be subscribed to both. If you're just loving everything that she does and you want things that kind of go together and mix and match vibes, I mean, you could be a subscriber of both now, honestly, because some of these items that have been repeated, but not really, are items you want multiples of, honestly. Like, for example, the sort of throwback items that have been in past Elite boxes that are in this petite box. I'm really happy to have more of them and I would always be happy to have more of them. But from now on, after the May box, it's always going to be totally different. So you're going to feel the FOMO, whether no matter what subscription you have. I do have a code for you. So this is kind of unique because usually it's only for the elite members where you get a free gift in your first box, but they're extending it to petite bundle subscribers this time. So if you use the code Hi Noel, you get a free gift in your petite bundle so you'll wind up with five items and of course it goes with the whole curation so just remember that I'll put all that information for you guys in the description box below of course so this is my box here we go it's got all of the packaging tape on there I do know what the two petite items are that have been in past elite boxes but I haven't uh, taken a peek yet at the other unboxings I know that are out there because I wanted to be surprised about the two items that are new to me and are also going to be featured in the elite box so it's available right now I want to let you know when I talked to Victoria I think it was a couple of weeks ago now because she is a busy busy lady buying a house I'm so excited to see what they do with that new house um they are um have they already have only like 10 spots available when I talked to her but that was like two weeks ago so and it's open for subs subscription now so I would say if you like what you see to get on that list because there's only 10 spots available for the petite bundles just saying just saying all right where is my art card so there's always an art card which is lovely this is cool this is from an artist her name's Rebecca and uh, Victoria is doing this new thing where she has like an artist spotlight on the website so if you want to learn more about it you can and then on the back it's really cool because she has 
a QR code with styling tips for the items in the bundle. And she has important dates. For example, on Wednesday, May 8th, everybody who gets the May bundles, Elite or Petite, will already have the bundles in their hands. When she says May, she means May. It's going to be in your hands on May 1st, if not sooner. There's a live styling with the May bundle items. On June 8th, so a month later, there is just a summer styling designer tips and tricks. July 13th, there is a bundle refresh that's style our past bundle and BYOB, build your own bundle items in a fresh new way. And then Thursday, August 1st, your next bundle arrives already. So they have a really great Facebook group, which I'm always trying to sneak my way back into for like her sip and shop events and everything. Um, but it is an exclusive space for subscribers. She is so great about giving people design tips and getting them great uh like you know behind the scenes designer prices and everything just absolutely wonderful and the thing that i have to always remember to tell you guys about is the bundle blessing which is this amazing thing that they do every year where they use some of the proceeds from the boxes uh to help a family in need uh, and the story this year they tell the story of this woman on their youtube channel because she has her own youtube channel it's amazing and you will feel so good being a part of that bundle blessing project so Definitely check that out and know that not only are you getting beautiful things for your own home or maybe you're gifting this to someone if you're a very generous friend or family member, but you are also helping beautify someone else's home who could just really use that uh, energetic uplift in their, their living space. So, okay, I'm going to put that there. Let me go ahead and show you. So I have two boxes. So the anticipation continues because I have two boxes. These are the new elite items, but... I wanted to share with you, I always take the art card and I put it into this beautiful glass frame. This is the art card from last quarter um, that is also in the build your own bundle. It's in the shop online. So if you want to, they got this restocked. It's just a really simple kind of antique brass frame. And then what's cool about this one is it's clear on the back too. So if you're like, what, Noelle, I don't want to put it in a frame because then I won't be able to see all of those important dates. It's clear on the back. And she also let me know that there is another um, frame in there that would work with the art cards. It's the right size. So, oh, one other heads up because I know I'm going to run out of time because I'm going to be gushing about all of the items in here is she's doing something really cool for Mother's Day. Obviously, this would be like the perfect Mother's Day gift. Like what a great Mother's Day gift and perfect timing, right? The May bundle. Um, but she's going to have some jewelry pieces by some really cool designers that she picked up along the way. Some jewelry pieces. Uh, they should be up there like mid-month this month, mid-April. Uh, so you can definitely check that out because that's just kind of something different that she's doing. So I think that would be awesome. I mean, if you can get her the, the petite bundle or the elite bundle, by all means. But like, I just think that's really fun that she's kind of trying something different, like a different category. All right, so I'll show you the first item that is also in the petite boxes, that is in the petite boxes this time that was in a past elite box. And I love these napkins, you guys. Aren't these beautiful? So I don't have any description of them because when you get the elite box, things are wrapped and there's usually little tags on things or there might now be just QR code. I'm not totally sure because I haven't gotten the elite bundle for a little while because it's opened on other channels um, like Georgia's Sunshine, for example, which we love. We love Christy. So these are so soft and I just love the crumbly texture of them because you know when you get cloth napkins and then it's like tumble dry low. First of all, they have to be something that you can wash, right? Not dry clean only napkins is the silliest thing I've ever heard. But then they also say like iron if necessary. I'm like, I do not have time to be ironing napkins. Um, these have that beautiful crumbly soft like texture. So you don't need to iron them like you wouldn't want to iron them because that would change the whole look. I love that little like almost like lace crochet detail along the edges, but they're so soft. I just feel like they're so perfect for spring for like a nice little like garden party outside um, and, and use them. Right. I have so many like fancy cloth napkins that I just don't have that kind of like entertaining style where I do those super fancy dinners or anything. Um, but I do have like a desire to make a nice presentation. And I just feel like these have this like soft, homey, boho chic vibe. It's like a really like dark gray, the print on there. I don't know. I love them. They're like, they, these are the napkins like I use. I, I, I made them pretty, but if for example, you have been a long time subscriber of free spare bundle and you're like, Oh, well I already have those napkins. Don't you need another four? 
Yes. So you have like a whole set of eight. I mean, this is not a bad, this is not a bad repeat to get, right? Okay. Let's take a look at the other repeat item. Now this is like the most versatile thing ever. So I was like, oh, that makes so much sense to send that out again to everyone. You guys, I'll try to leave some links with some images, uh, maybe in the little card space in terms of like different things that her subscribers have done with this item in the past. And if not, you can definitely find it uh, online, but I'll, I'll do my best to leave some, some little pictures that you can click on, all right? But no promises. All right, look at this basket. I think it's kind of fun too, because like you could have got, you could use this as an Easter basket, even though yes, Easter has passed. I had to put the little bunny away. I'm so sad. I got that bunny from Free Spirit Bundle, of course. Look at this cool multi-compartment basket. I love a basket just for organization, but I also like this one because it's got these like right angles. So it feels a little bit more it's like organic and clean lines at the same time. It's got these nice handles, which they do fold down. Um, you kind of have to like make it happen. It doesn't like fold down super good, but when I had it in storage for, for a little while, I was able to fold it down, but they are also very, um, they don't get in the way. So if you just have them up, but I've seen people do such cool things. Like it's been a bathroom organizer. It's been like a utensils organizer. I think it's really cool that, let me see if I can put this right in here. Look, you could do this and just have it ready to go for your outdoor alfresco dining. If you have like a nice little cafe table or picnic table in your backyard and you're like, you know what, you guys, I'm going to light that citronella candle and we're going to eat outside tonight. You can put the napkins in here. You can put some of your utensils in here, maybe some of your condiments, your salt and pepper, all the little stuff that you want to just take out in one easy, it's like a little caddy for your outdoor dining. You could do that. You could have it over by your couch as sort of a remote organizer because I know we all have a bajillion remotes these days as well as charging cords and blocks. Hide that all, but also make it still easy to see everything. So, so many, so many ways you could use this. And again, this is a really good example of that sort of boho eclectic style, but that's also going to work with almost any home decor, right? You know, I wouldn't necessarily categorize this as any particular, it's not farmhouse necessarily. It's not like contemporary and cold. It's got that nice organic feel to it, but it does have like some like modern styling because of those right angles. And it's just really functional, which you know me, I like things that are simple, but functional and beautiful. And Victoria checks all those boxes every single time. All right, you guys, we get to open new stuff. Woo! They both have big fragile stickers on them, which makes me a teeny tiny bit nervous, even though they package everything great. And Victoria and her team are amazing. If anything ever comes damaged, they get you replacements like super, super quick. Um, but you know, again, there's only like 10 spots left. There's probably less than 10 spots left. The nice thing on her website, you guys, I always open things upside down. The sticker was the right way and I still opened it upside down. I always do that. Ugh the worst. Well, hopefully nothing's damaged in here. It's not. Uh, but let's see. Ooh, goodness. It's heavy. I'll say that much. Ooh, I think we got like a planter or a vase or something. It's hefty. I feel like it's concrete. It's probably molded concrete. Look at this. It almost looks like it's crocheted, right? It almost looks like a vase. And then someone made one of those those like cozies for it. Like you can, like, you know, when you walk around and you see like a tree and someone's like knitted, a wrap for the tree. It kind of has that vibe. So I feel like what someone did, some smart person, oh, I don't know. It could actually be fabric and this like sort of um, knotted bric-a-brac. I don't know, like whatever this kind of like rope is, this detailed rope. I don't know if they actually just glued that on and then painted over it. Or if someone did that, created a mold and then poured it in. I'm kind of leaning towards thinking that it was a mold so someone created it with the fabric and with this like rope around it and then made a mold so that they could pour this concrete vase. This is so unique. It's like, it's a little funky, right? This is definitely one of those like boho, eclectic, kind of different pieces. It is heavy though. It would be a great planter though. I think this would look so quirky and cool just because it kind of looks like, I don't know, it's just fun. It's different. I also appreciate that it's not like a crazy color because it's definitely a little bit on the quirky design side. 
right? Like it's not like that clean, simple, you know, no detail. It's like the opposite. It's got all the detail, but then it's nice and simple in terms of just being white. A little off-white, little cream. So you can see the detail from afar. You can kind of see that depth and texture. This is so weird. I like in a good way. I because it's something that you would never get in another box. And that's what's awesome. Because that's the thing, you know, a lot of people are saying there are so only so many home decor boxes that I can subscribe to, so I really have to be picky about it. And I agree, especially when you see, and this does happen, you see home decor boxes going to the same vendors because they go to the same shows, they go to the same vendors, it's totally normal. And even those vendors have a ton of things. Sometimes the things that they think are gonna really work with the most people, there's some overlap. So when you get a unique piece, or even if it is from a vendor that other home decor boxes use, and you get a piece that no one else would ever pick, then you really feel like you're part of this unique design vision, right? And then of course you get to put your own styling on it. So I like that it's weird and quirky. I like that if this is the kind of thing that if I found this in a shop, I'd be like, yeah, that's not like a, you know, version of something else I've seen that I'm just trying to emulate. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's got a character. I'm into it. All right. Let's see what the other item is. So that, like, it's very, like, it's very vintage, right? Because of these textures. Yeah? Feels very vintage to me. Um, feels a little, like, a little grand millennial, maybe. Um, definitely, like, I could find, I, I could get that second hand, but, you know, I'm getting this nice new one. But it kind of has that vibe to it, and then you can do your own thing. I could see someone put making this a planter. I could see someone making this a vase. I could see someone just putting, like, you, uh big kitchen utensils in it. That'd be a really cool like kitchen utensil thing. I can see other people who are, are super quirky actually knitting stuff around it or even painting it. Like why not? Be wild, right? Make it your own. Be unique. That's the cool thing about the home decor boxes that get it right is they definitely have a vision and a style, but they also leave room for your own, right? And that's the most important thing. Okay, what is this? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. What are you? Hmm. Do you all know what this is? I don't know. Oh. This also feels very vintage. So this is a small brass desk clock. So these two items are also in the Elite box. Interesting. So it looks vintage, but you put a modern battery in there, so it looks like you just put a double A battery in there, so that's easy enough. Fun. This dial on the top doesn't actually turn. You do it back here, but sometimes that's kind of cool. It says Antique Paris, um, and then, of course, it's got the Roman numerals, so we all have to learn. How, you know, There are kids out there now that don't know how to tell time on a watch. Like, we need to fix that, you guys. <laughs> Let's go analog. So it's fun. What a cute little accent piece, and it's also a working piece, right? So Antique but it actually still works. And I have definitely bought antique pieces that I'm like, yeah, that doesn't work, <laughs> but it looks really cool. Like my husband actually has like a, it looks like a nautical ship clock, but without the bells. And it doesn't work anymore because the battery got corroded and they can't fix it, et cetera. It would cost us an arm and a leg to get it fixed. But I'm like, but it looks so cool that I just want to keep it. And he's like, so you want to keep the broken clock? I'm like, yeah way better to have a vintage looking clock that actually works misfunctional i know sometimes sometimes a little contradictory that's fun though look how neat everything looks together i'm like I'm trying to figure out how to show all of it at once i can't here we go here we go can i hold all of this at once drop something on my toe there we go everything in the petite bundle this time around so we got those two items that were in a past elite box i just think that the napkins and the basket are fabulous pieces just to have in your home and then these it's kind of neat that for the elite box we got sort of the like quirky unique pieces i don't know what else is in the elite box this time honestly but these are cool all right so <laughs> i totally was expecting something else because she told me something oh i don't know i totally was expecting something else i don't know why but these are fun i think i got everything you guys we got 
the beautiful art card with all of these fun dates, the things that you get to be involved in as a subscriber, including the Bundle Blessing Project. We got the fact that there's going to be jewelry items for Mother's Day if you don't pick up one of these bundles for your mom for Mother's Day. Or you could just tell your spouse or even your kids, be like, hey, I would also like that petite bundle from Free Spirit. It's only $140. Um, <laughs> you could drop some hints. Don't forget that there are limited spaces available. This is definitely, it might be called the petite, not the elite, but you are still part of a very elite group and part of the, uh, free spirit bundle community. Uh, you can use that code Hi Noel for a free gift. I think that's it. I like it. I like the quirkiness. It's got, it's growing on me. Like at first I was like, this is not something that I would pick out for myself. And that's kind of one of the things I like about it is it's not one of the things that I would pick about out for myself because sometimes I play it a little bit safe. So Victoria is challenging me a little bit. I'm into that. You guys, thanks so, so much for being here in my unboxing. Definitely check it out. You don't want to miss out. They sell out every single quarter. So, and starting next season, no overlaps. It's going to be exciting. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you very, very soon in my next unboxing. Please take a moment to leave a comment and thumbs up this video. Have a great day.